Hi there, I'm Ryan, one of the support engineers here at Woopra, and in this video, I'm going to show you some quick but powerful marketing reports you can easily build in Woopra. To start, one of the most important questions you might ask is where's my traffic coming from? Traffic can come from search engines, organically, social networks, email, or even ad campaigns. So to answer this question, I'll go ahead and create a trends report to see where my overall traffic is coming from. The first step when configuring these reports is to select the time frame. Here we can select the date range that we want to analyze. For this, I'll just go ahead and select the last 90 days. Next, we have the perform by. Here we can select the segment of users that we want to focus in on. I'll just leave this as all users for now. After that, I can choose what custom events I want to analyze. These can be things like web app usage, page views, purchases, card updates, or any custom event you're sending to Woopra. For this report, I'll go ahead and select our page view event. Once selected, I want to analyze landing pages, so I'll add a constraint where landing page is true. Once that's entered, we can select what we want to compare by. This is essentially what columns we want to add to the report. We can compare things like region, dates, user types, or any related property to our event we're analyzing. For this report, I'll select to compare by referral types. Finally, I'll go ahead and run this report. If I want, I can even select which refers I want to visualize. I'll select the top two, which are search and direct. Now, if I rerun the report, I can see a comparison of the two over time. So what if you ran a specific campaign and you want to see how well it performed? First off, in Woopra, we always recommend using UTM tags for any incoming links. Woopra will automatically record the UTM info so you can easily build reports around them. For example, say you recently ran some AdWords and you want to see the resulting traffic. To build this, I'll edit this report and first select the time frame when we ran the campaign. Let's look at October of 2018. Next, I'll edit the constraints in the page view and select the source as AdWords. And finally, we'll compare by the campaign names. Once I hit run, we can easily see which AdWords strategies were the best performing. So now that we know which AdWords initiatives were driving the most traffic, the next question you'll likely ask is how many of those visitors actually converted or signed up? To answer this question, I can build a journey report around this particular campaign to show the resulting conversions. First, I'll select to create a new journey report. Similar to our trends report, I'll open up the configuration and select the time frame for October of 2018. Next, I want to add our first step in our user's journey. I'll click the plus and label this step as brand campaign. I can select our page view event and add a constraint where landing page is true. And then we can filter on our specific campaign. We can even find out a little more information on our user's journey. So I'll add another step and label this as pricing page. I'll again select a page view and also add a constraint. Since I want to analyze a specific page, I'll select where URL contains slash pricing and click apply. For the last step, I want to add our actual conversion event. I'll click to add a step and label this as signed up. Next, I'll select our sign up event and hit apply. Finally, I'll compare this chart by cohort of weeks and run the report. Now I can easily see all the users that came to the site from AdWords, did an optional step of viewing our pricing page and the resulting conversions. And if I wanted, I can even drill down to see exactly which users converted. In all, these quick and easy to build reports are just some of the marketing questions we can answer with Woopra. With our powerful tracking and reporting tools, you can really get a better understanding of campaign performance and user journeys across your site. So be sure to check out our links in our video's description for more information. And if you have any questions, please contact us at support at Thanks.